Save time by customizing your panels in Lightroom Classic. Welcome to the Visual Center, I'm Trent. In this post protection tips video, I'm gonna show you how you can customize your panels in Lightroom Classic. Now, when I use this function, this helps me be a little bit more effective with my editing, and especially helps me save a bit of time. Let me show you how it works. All right, here I am in the develop module in Lightroom Classic. Now this feature does work on every panel in every module, but it works a little bit differently in this develop module. Let me start by showing you how it works in the other panels. If I go to library, and then I hover over this left side panel and right click, the items in the panel appear in a drop down. We have catalog, folders, collections, and publish services. You can see that these are the items on my left side column, catalog, folders, collections, and published services. Now one of them has an asterisk here at the end. That little star or asterisk indicates that that's the panel I clicked on when I right click. If I right click on folders, you can see the asterisk after the folders item. Now there's a check mark next to each item within this panel. If I uncheck one of those items, that item now disappears. So you can see I can activate and deactivate each item in my panel. Now I can also expand all. This just expands all the items in that panel or I can collapse all. Now if I do go and remove some of the items in my panel, if I right click again, I can select show all and all four items will now appear. So that's how this option works in every single module on each side panel. Now let's look at the develop module where it works a little bit differently. So let's go to the develop module. And just to double check, let's right click on this left side panel and you see it's the same as it was before. I'm gonna show you solo mode in a second. Now if I right click on the develop panel in the develop module, you can see I have a few different options. Customize develop panel, show all, solo mode, and expand all. Expand all is exactly the same as it was before. I can right click and select expand all or collapse all. Now there's also a keystroke for that option. If I hold down command and click, it will expand all of the panels. Now if I click again, it will collapse all of the panels. Now right click again, you see solo mode. What solo mode is, if I'm going to expand two or three of these panels, if I hold down the option key on a Mac or the alt key on Windows and I select one of these panels, now I'm in solo mode. You see how those other two collapse? Now if I click on a panel, that is the only panel that will open up. So it's a solo panel. Now I'm left clicking to open up these panels. You can use the little triangle here on the right, or you can just click on the panel itself. But you can see as I go to click on a different panel, that's the only panel that appears. Now this is helpful because as I'm editing the image, if I move down this develop panel, a lot of these other sub panels will kind of disappear and I'll have to scroll down to get to them, to access them. So having solo mode really helps if I wanna keep everything here at the top and allows me to edit a little quicker. All right, now if I right click and select the customize develop panel, this new dialog box appears. Now it has a few options. Over here on the right side, I have these check boxes. If I uncheck some of the items and hit save for basic tone curve and detail, if I hit save, those three items will now disappear in my panel. So I can get rid of them just like I did with the other panel. If I right click and select customize develop panel again, let's reactivate those three items. Just select these check boxes and hit save. Now those three items are back in my panel. Let's right click and open that panel one last time. Now on this left hand side of each item from this panel, you can see there's a hamburger menu item. Now, what that indicates is I can actually change the order of these items in my develop panel. So if I select, click and drag, I can actually move and change the order of the items in this panel. Now, if I wanna get back to the default order that comes with the Lightroom Classic software when I first open it, just select the default order and it will get you back to where you were. Now, this is where I save a lot of time. I can customize the panel items and the order they come in, so I work through my workflow in a more organized way when editing in Lightroom. So I'll definitely start with this basic panel, so I'll leave that at the top. And then I'll often use my HSL sliders, and then sometimes I'll go into my tone curve. Color grading I use a bit, but to be honest, I rather go to detail and effects first. My lens correction is always just on during import, so that's not as important. The transform panel, I don't use that often. So I actually will use calibration before I use transform. 
All right, so this is the basic order of items I'd like in my develop panel. So let's hit save. Now, depending on what items you moved in the develop module, you may need to relaunch Lightroom. So now you can see, if I close down basic, so you have basics, HSL, tone curve, detail, effects, color grading. It goes in the order that I selected in this customize develop panel option. Now remember, I can always get back to my default order by selecting this button here. All right, that's how I customize my panels in Lightroom Classic to help me save a bit of time when editing. If you have any questions about this process, please let us know in the comments below. Now thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.